Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, The Truth About God. And I'm switching it up a little bit. I had a kind of a long day and I just wanted to kind of sit out here and talk to y'all um, briefly. I think it might be kind of a quick video. Um, I want to talk to y'all about perfection. I want to talk to you about perfection and the pursuit of perfection. And you do not have to be perfect. 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 And um, I know I talk about this a lot, but this is something that's really close to my heart. And God put it on my heart to share with y'all my side, y'all. So this is not my outside. Sometimes y'all gonna hear the people talking, okay? Um, you don't have to be perfect, all right? Just because you're not how you think you should be doesn't mean God doesn't love you or that he's not pleased with you or that um, he's upset with you in any kind of way. Perfection wasn't meant to be attainable in this world. It's just not. It's not anything we're ever going to achieve or grasp. We're just not. And it wasn't meant to be. Um, so seeking after it in any form is truly futile. It is truly futile. And we seek after perfection in a lot of different ways. I have sought after it myself in a lot of different ways. Any pursuit of perfection is costly. It's going to cost you something to do it. And the majority of the time, the things that it's going to cost you is you. It's going to cost you your peace. It's going to cost you your contentment. It's going to cost you your happiness. It's going to cost you your self-esteem. It's going to cost you you. Whether you're seeking it financially, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, maritally, it's going to cost you because no one can keep it up. It's nothing that you can continue to do. And before I go any further, I want to give y'all the scripture reference for today. It is John. And we've heard this scripture before a lot of different ways, a lot of different, a lot of different ways, you know, but I hope that you hear it differently today. I hope you receive it differently today. It is John uh, chapter 3, verses 16 through 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. You're saved from sin, you're saved from brokenness, you're saved from confusion, you're saved from fear, worry, and doubt through Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. That is it. That's all. And God sent him into the world for you, to save you, to heal you, to vindicate you, to validate you, to approve of you. All the things that you're trying to receive from being perfect, God already gave it to you with his sacrifice you already have everything that you need you already have anything that you could ever want you just have to accept it um when you're trying to be perfect and you don't live up to your own standards it is like the disappointment is so strong <laughs> like it's crazy you just can't keep it up. You fall off your own pedestal. Eventually, you're going to fall off your own pedestal. And when that happens, what do you do? What do you feel? What's the next thing? Guilt, shame, blaming of yourself, judgment, and the list goes on. And you just sometimes assume, well, I did, assume that the same things and the same pressures that you put on yourself are the same things that other people around you want from you. And that's not the truth. That is a whole lot from your enemy. That is not the truth. A lot of the times, the things that you're thinking that people really care about, they're not even bothered by. They're not even consumed with or bothered by in the slightest. They don't even care. The things that you're trying to do and maintain are not the ways that they even want to receive from you. They just want your love. They just want your presence. You know, they don't want all that stuff from you that you think that they want. So when you don't, measure up to you 
then you're disappointed in yourself. Everyone tells you that you don't have to be perfect. Everybody tells you that you don't have to be perfect. Literally, it's all over, especially God. Especially God tells us that we do not have to be perfect. But what happens when you, you know, you, your own self, you yourself, you feel like you you have to be because of something that's driving you, because of something that's inside of you. You know, you feel like you have to be perfect. And you haven't, you've been given the space to grow. You've been given the grace to make mistakes because of, you know, Christ's sacrifice. But it's so ingrained in you to not accept the grace that God himself has died for you to have. And that's a hard space to be. And I'm speaking from personal experience and I'm talking to whoever is struggling with this today. The feeling of not being enough, the feeling of not being included, the feeling of wanting this such a high standard for yourself and not meeting it, and the disappointment that is attached to that. You are enough. If you don't do nothing else, you are enough. If you don't do everything that people want you to do, if you don't show up everywhere that people want you to show up, if you don't do everything that you assume people want you to do, you are enough. You are enough. You are enough as you are. That's just it. And God says it. We have to ask God to help us to um, ask God to help us and to heal us from the shame of our flaws and mistakes. And I know that sounds crazy to people who don't struggle with that, but when you do, there's a guilt and a shame attached to when you don't live up to what you think you're supposed to be doing. You know, it's almost like you're creating an idol of yourself, you know, and it's a really, it's a, it's a bad place to be. There's peace waiting for you on the other side of the inner turmoil that you may be feeling today. And I'm living proof. There is peace on the other side of this inner turmoil and of this fight. Uh, Y'all, everybody's just outside of my neighborhood. I'm sorry, but everybody is outside. Okay, <laughs> anyway, um, there truly is. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay, there is truly peace waiting for you on the other side of the inner turmoil, but you have to accept it. You have to accept it. You have to accept it from God. There's nothing you can do yourself. You, can, you can't will yourself into it. You have to accept God's peace. You have to accept his grace. You have to accept his mercy. You have to accept his calm. And give him all the other stuff that you've been holding on to for, for dear life. You know, sometimes. Like anything else, it's a process. This is a process. This did not change for me overnight. But it did change, and God was with me every step of the way, every step of the way, and I needed him, and he was there, and I'm so grateful for it. But keep seeking after God and his righteousness. Don't quit just because it's a process. Some of y'all may be like me, who likes stuff to be quick, fast, and in a hurry, all right? And God has slowed me down. He tells me all the time, haste is my enemy. You know, haste is not a, a help to me. It's a hindrance, you know? So, uh the process part of it was difficult sometimes for me. And it still is at times, but I'm so grateful for it. And I'm learning to enjoy the process. I'm learning to enjoy the peace in the process. And that's been, you know, a really good thing for me. Keep asking God to help you in this, if it's a struggle for you. But um, healing is on the horizon. Healing is on the horizon. You do not have to be perfect for yourself. You don't have to be perfect for nobody else. And you certainly have, don't have to be perfect for God. He already died on the cross for you to make you perfect. You're good already. You know, what, you, what you're trying to earn. You already got anything you could <laughs> hope to achieve, right? It's already here for you. I hope this message blessed you and encouraged you and, you know, helps you to kind of surrender that over to God if it's a struggle for you right now. And i am be praying for you in the name of Jesus. Uh, if this video blessed you and helped you in any way, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.